one of the stats you gave, which I was like, whoa. You said there are more adult diapers being sold in Japan than baby diapers. Yes. Already. Yes. Uh, it's been like that for quite a while, actually. That is terrifying, isn't it? Yes. Um, so, you know, I live in Japan, and the reason I'm there is because I'm passionate about this issue. I'm actually passionate about trying to help save Japan. Uh, one of the great things there is that everyone in Japan intensely knows about this topic. Um, it's on the media every day. The government are, you know, making... Uh, regular you know, policy changes to try and address it. So it's a place where I hope if anywhere in the world can solve it, it might be Japan first. Mm -hmm. um, because you're right, and another statistic, um, in Japan, this data goes back a few years, but within the last five to 10 years, the average number of people waiting for a care home was around 400,000 people. Uh, when you get to an age in Japan of needing a care home, you can't take care of yourself, you're living alone. That is the moment you can put yourself on the list to wait for a care home. Wow. So you need a care home, but you can't be on the list until you need it. Why? Because there aren't enough care home spaces. The average time I think from then to wait on a care home place is three years. So you've got people who literally are unable to take care of themselves, unable to dress themselves, unable to do anything living for three years before that place in the care home opens up. Japan is a template for much of Europe. Um, can I say, let me say it here, I haven't said this before, but um, you know, I'm from the UK originally. I didn't have a vote here, but um, because I don't live here, but I, I'm pro-Brexit. And at the time of Brexit, um, I, you know, contacted some newspapers here to say, look, I think we should do a, a, an article using some of the maps I've created to show how grim the situation is in Germany, Italy, Spain, much of Europe, because people need to know just how fast Europe's going down the hill economically, as well as in terms of the care of the elderly there. And uh, I, I, I used the slogan, if you like, or I was using the term, it's safer to be out because of what's going to happen in Europe with this rapid aging of old people that, that's already well underway. And um, so it's not just Japan, it's on, it's on our, you know, or on your shores here in the UK. Um, and it's ca catching up so much, so fast in so many parts of the world. And, and I think what people probably haven't been able to quantify, but it's undoubtedly the case, is an aging society changes uh, everything. It changes whether people start businesses or not. It changes whether there's innovation in, in society. Because as we all know, that once you get to a certain age, you, you become less flexible and less willing to take a risk. I mean, that's why young people are much more risk hungry, because that's the time you're supposed to be trying things because you've got time to fail. Mm -hmm. You've got time to make a mistake. You've got time to do that. Economically, militarily, I mean, it just seems to me that this is a huge issue, as I said to you at the beginning, that people don't even understand the, the implications of, let alone the implications of the implications, the second order, third order, yeah. fourth order consequences. Yeah, and I, uh, we haven't gone into too many of those, but just a, a very obvious one is that we're going to have too much housing for the, the number of people in our societies. And today in the UK, that's probably hard to understand because there's seen, it seemed to be the other way around at the moment, but that will change. And you know, these are societies, therefore, that will have decaying communities where houses will become desolate, um, where communities will become desolate. I feel young people will mostly move away from those communities. I think certain towns will become what I call magnet towns that people gravitate towards, mostly younger people, which become quite expensive. The older people will be left in the de decaying towns without enough health care. Taxes are going to go up for everybody. And then you take national debts. So most countries, Japan certainly, all countries, I, I want to say, have got significant national debts. Uh, um, and these tend to get larger rather than smaller. Well, if you have a shrinking workforce to pay the interest on those, I mean, you're, you're going to have a real pressure on the younger people to, to continue to have anything like the quality of lifestyle that, that we ha we've had before. So communities are going to look different. Um, and yeah, um, I really worry about loneliness and all of this. You know, we haven't used that word yet, but that is a core word that I think that we need to apply. Oh, it's not the right word. People who don't find uh, a partner, people who don't have children when they wanted to have children, um, 
are likely to face a level of loneliness. And there's many support groups online already for this. You, you can see, you can read the stories, you can even read the stories. I imagine after this podcast, you'll see comments uh, coming up of people in this situation who, you know, who, who left it too late, dealing with a level of loneliness. But then you take older people. So there's a community in Japan where I visited where 50 years ago, it was filled with younger families and today it's only older people. But it's mainly older women living there alone because partners, men tend to die younger. So you have this situation where uh, we went to the local grocery store and they, we hear that these women come out maybe once a week to do their shopping and they're spending forever talking whilst they're paying for their groceries because that's the only person they're getting to talk to weekly. And we've got to do something about this. Clearly, we can't let people remain in their apartments without a sense of community. But we're going to have to think about so many issues, so many problems that come out of this that, that we're, we're not scratching the surface of yet. 